Good evening, everybody. This is the DCN going live on your Wednesday evening. I am doing a follow-up live from about two weeks ago. I said I was going to do it weekly, but I may not um, get around to it. I do work a real job and do other things as well. Uh, this evening, I want to talk about a few uh, topics. Uh, the first one is uh, last week in the Rocky Mountain Telegram, David Hunt, the uh, black man and his associates were trying to bring a hotel and parking deck to Rocky Mount over at the event center. And um, he was brought up on charges. I forgot what state it was in. However, just this past week, it was reported that the charges were exonerated on him and I believe on all the others as well. However, um, Google it. You can see it on the Rocky Mount Telegram on Google David Hunt. Uh, on Monday night, the Rocky Mount City Council met and as usual, Adrian Copeland, a young white female, comes to monthly and attack OIC and other things that goes on in Rocky Mount. It's just sad. But on uh, at the uh, end of the public comments, interim director, uh, our city manager, Peter, Peter Varney, responded to Adrian Copeland. Uh, ignorant comments as it relates to leases to OIC and other uh, uh, areas in Rocky Mountain. He gave some historical background and I think um, after that I'm going to see where she's going to go from there because she uh, the old saying is you're going to learn today um, I think she learned that day maybe she didn't but anyway, check out the Rocky Mountain Telegram this week. Maybe they'll post it. However, they they pick and choose what they want to post um, when it comes to certain folks. And uh, move right along. I won't be out here long. But uh, I'm just trying to figure out why Trump hasn't gone to jail. I tell you, I, I, I just don't understand. I believe if it was uh, Barack Obama or any other black man or woman that he will be or she will be in jail. I just don't get it. However, I'm waiting on that day when I pick up the newspaper or, or turn on the TV and it says Trump goes to jail. Lord have mercy. Uh, again, moving on to the next topic. You know, it's sad when black folk got to be apologetic for being black and great. I read um, a, a, a post on Facebook on yesterday where there were some black firefighters in Rocky Mountain sitting at a table eating. And when I first seen it, it had black excellence. And honestly, um, it got taken down. Now, I haven't talked to the author of the post, and will not, unless they reach out to me. But I just want to know what happened with it. I did a post on it, and I posted that, uh, um, what did I do? What did I say? I don't forgot what I said. I do so much stuff. But, uh, oh, I know what I said. I said, uh, um, these black firefighters are paving the way for black boys and girls. Because for so long, Rocky Mountain didn't have but a certain amount of black firefighters. And it was said that they couldn't find any qualified blacks and, and so forth and so on. But you know the story. But also, um, see, they put that in the newspaper. They put everything else in there. But, uh, you know, they have a, fire, a black fire chief over in Rocky Mountain now. Um, many of those guys got overlooked didn't get promotions, but you had a white chief there that was uh, 
I understand that he was given, uh, he didn't even have a degree, but this one here now, this black guy, he got all kinds of degrees, if I'm not mistaken. But it just said when, when we as the black folk have to be apologetic for being black and celebrating our black excellence. Um, I, I just don't understand what could be offensive about celebrating or just being black. I'm, I, I refuse to be apologetic for being black, for being who God made me to be. And if that offends you, then that's a you problem, because I don't have one. Um, also, this past Monday night, J. Kelly Walker was um, sworn in as the fifth black man on the Rocky Mountain City Council. Of course, you know, we don't have any um, women, black or white. Uh, Chris Miller, who did, a, I think, a great job. Um, nobody do everything everybody wants. However, I think from me knowing her over the years, before she went on the council and during the time she was on the council, I think she did a pretty good job. So thank you, Chris Miller, for all that you have done and uh, much success in your moving on to your next endeavor. It, it ain't nothing but just uh, take some time. You have been on for about 20 some years. Or, like I said, I remember when you went on, I went through the common ground with you and um and um attended the majority of the meeting but uh, again thank you chris miller and now as i stated we have five black um council members which makes it a super majority now that's gonna probably piss some folk off but that's fine i just hope these guys do what's right we have what four four of them are, are, are ministers and three of them are pastors. So I just hope they work together, do what's right. Because I know um, that if we as black folks make life better for us, everybody wins. So um, again, we don't have to be apologetic, but just coming in, doing what's right. They are qualified. They have the experience. And I believe they would do a great job. So all the naysayers need to just sit back, allow them to do what they do, and then if they don't do what they what they should be doing, then there's always election time. But we need to cut out the negativity based on no facts. It's okay to criticize folks, but criticize on the facts. Because I get sick of folks like Adrian Copeland coming down making ignorant comments monthly and then um when they respond it makes it look very very stupid if you notice how the crew that used to come don't come anymore i understand they probably over their own concerned citizens but see they, they they blocked me over there years ago so i can't see it and even when they start a new uh page they they, they I, I, someone sent me that they said that uh oh they definitely won't let me on that page and then it went back to the old page but it it, 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 it no I'm, I'm fine with it because i'm not the one that can sit back and read this and don't respond so it's less work for me and also i haven't been put in facebook jail for quite some time over a year now probably so when i learned who the naysayers was i blocked them and so i don't have that problem anymore so, uh, and, and then I don't have to do a lot of responding to, 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 to mess. Um, now I move on to another, uh, topic. It's, um, track the supply and Starbucks are going up in Tarboro as we speak. Uh, the work has begun and it's coming right along. Uh, also a tidal wave. My favorite car wash over in Rocky Mountain is coming to Tarboro. Well, well, go back. Starbucks and Track Supply is coming over in the area where the uh, Walmart is, which is across the street from the Bojangles, where the tidal wave is coming. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't 
I may need some from the tractor supply, but I don't do the Starbucks thing. So uh, that's good for folk that that, that that will benefit. That will benefit from that. Okay, the next topic uh, I received today uh, was reading the uh, Sheriff's, North Carolina Sheriff's Association and Sheriff Clee Atkinson, Edgecombe County, along with it, uh, Orange County, Caswell County, Durham County. Um, the sheriffs, they were interviewed, interviewed on crimes against law enforcement and the impact on the office of sheriffs. You can watch it on WRL on Saturday, Saturday, August the 20th at 7 p.m. and on WRAZ Fox on Sunday morning, August the 21st at 8.30 a.m. Uh, that's the topics I had tonight. And I just want to end by saying go out and get involved. Uh, if you don't know who your council people, your county commissioners, um, your um, school board members, get to know who they are. Most of all, attend the meetings. When you elect folk to office, you can't just sit home. You need to go out and support them and keep up with what's going on. You also want to make sure that they appoint people to serve on boards that uh, will have your best interest. And the main thing is get involved and, and try to get served uh, and serve on, try to get appointed yourself. So that's going to conclude my uh, little spiel tonight on the DCN Live. Um, I will say I'll come back again next week, but I plan to do it as as often as needed or uh, when time will permit. So right now I'm going to let you see a little bit of what's coming up in Tarboro. I am in Tarboro. I had Bible study, so I slipped on something and came back out. So now I'm going to end with you seeing a little bit of where well, it's not got dark now. You won't be able to see it. It was light when I came up. But anyway, uh, the tractor supply is coming up over uh, by Walmart. And the Starbucks is coming up beside the cookout. So have a good night. And I'll see you in the morning.